Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 23rd. Keep in mind the timing is for the 23rd is the new moon. I know it's a very emotional time. I think that the emotions are going to be running very high. I feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about an opportunity. Perhaps they have missed an opportunity. You know, there's a missed opportunity. What I see is the Four of Cups. Okay, the Four of Cups is not receiving attention or not giving attention. Brooding, overanalyzing, uh, level of discontentment, looking for more, uh, feeling uh, alone, perhaps. Definitely an emotional time. Somebody's thinking about love, you know, or the lack thereof, you know, dreaming about something more, wanting something more. It's all about love, right? It is, but there is some good news that is going to be arriving. Um, I know that there is, but we also have somebody here that has some extreme health problems that are probably going to come up to the surface. There, I mean, I mean, I'm not sure what it is, but it's extreme. So when I say extreme, I mean extreme. So there's some extreme health problems. It could have to do with your, I don't know if it has to do with your heart or you're in something internally or. Um, I, you know, I also feel like there's something drug related as well. There, you know, maybe it's a drug overdose or something like that. I don't know. What I see is a tower reversed right after that. And the tower reversed is extreme health problems that could lead to a permanent loss. So painful and it's painful and something that you never saw coming when you see, when you get the tower in reverse or upright, but in reverse, it's extreme. Okay. So something could happen that you never saw coming and it could have to do with your health. There could also be a fight that causes a painful strain, a uh, painful change. And, and then I just saw, I said painful strain. So there, there could be a painful strain. I don't, or, or a sprain or who knows what it is anyhow i feel as though something is going to crumble it's going to crash it's like it's gonna and it's gonna hurt whatever it is it's there's some sort of painful uh thing that it like opens it's like it's, it is like an explosion of some sort i'm not sure what it is but i can see it it's interesting it's like an emptiness of some sort uh weird um, hmm, I wonder what it's some hmm it's like an explosion. Five of Wands. Five of Wands reverse. We had this like yesterday, didn't we? But it was upright. So the five of wands reversed is um it could be a full scale battle. It could be. But then on the other hand, it could be the end of a conflict. It could go both ways. We need to see what is what is this five of wands? Which way is this gonna go? Knight of Cups reverse. Interesting. I just did a reading with a different deck, and the Knight of Cups reverse was the first card that came out. And I wasn't going to share it because, just because. But maybe I will now. Um, so this is my second daily vibe, but because this was the first card that came out. So the Knight of Cups reversed is. Um, now, there could be a relationship. There could be a fight in a relationship, okay? Or there's a relationship that isn't real. It's false, okay? That's that's Prince Charming that is full of shit right there. That's your, your full of shit Prince Charming. So now this is a relationship that is not growing. Now, this person may have come with an offer of love. You know, they said all the right things, but they really didn't have anything to offer. They were full of shit. I really want to say full of shit. So I don't, that's something that I really want to say. <laughs> oh, goodness. So somebody's leaving, right? They're moving on. They're going someplace else. It looks like they're going by themselves. Usually with the Six of Swords, there's more than one person. Not in this case. So somebody is going by themselves. It's like, I'm leaving this behind. I'm leaving this bullshit behind. <laughs> so they're headed someplace where, you know... They can see things more clearly where, you know, it's, there's no muddy, muddled waters, you know, something about, I'm not sure if we're dealing with a water sign. It's like, I'm leaving this water sign behind because I was putting it right here and this is a water sign and this is water, but this, but this is still in the water. So, so somebody may still be in some sort of water, could be hot water, could be cold water, um, definitely troubled definitely troubled still taking the troubles with them though we have somebody here that is taking the troubles with them but leaving behind um something
going someplace else for sure. Leaving behind the false relationship. Now there could be a fight that causes somebody to leave because this is a fight. All right. So somebody's leaving. They're leaving. Leaving, Steven. Um, whoo. Okay. So we have the Empress. The Empress is the giver of life. She's the goddess of love, right? She is. She is glowing. She's beautiful. She is uh, she's grounded by the looks of things and she is abundant and that's where this person is headed this person is headed towards the empress the empress is the goddess of love she gives life she's experienced she's worthy she does it all. She's a homemaker. She's a mother. She's tender, loving care, and she's unconditional love. So we have this person that is leaving behind a false relationship. I don't know if it's with a water sign. It doesn't have to be. Whoever this person was, they didn't have any real love to offer, and it was a constant battle. They're leaving behind that constant battle, and they're headed towards tender, love, and care. This is tender, love, and care. This is a motherly love. They are headed towards love. Now, this person is very sexual, very beautiful, um, glamorous, earthy, probably wealthy, um, abundant. This person has plenty. This person is a hostess, very heartfelt and caring. She is a natural. So we ha do have this person that is, is go headed towards this person. Yes, we gotta take these. Okay. They fell out. Oh my goodness, Page of Cups reversed. Taking back control of the situation. Freedom. Uh oh, headed right into love. Okay, so, hmm, interesting. So we definitely have somebody that is leaving an, an unrequited love relationship behind. There's no love here. There's no reciprocation. There's no many more feelings, okay? There's no more feelings of love. If somebody is taking back control. They're, they're breaking free, okay? They're breaking change from, chains from this toxic situation. It's unhealthy. Things have probably gotten worse when you see the devil reverse. Things have probably, the fighting has probably gotten worse, and it's like, I got to break free. I have to, I have to, I have to. Somebody has been in a deep, dark place in a loveless situation where there was a constant fighting and a constant battle. It was like, it was a constant competition too. It was just competing. It was just too much, too much. So I feel think it was very volatile as well. There was a lot of sparring. And it's like, I just want peace. I just want peace. So I feel like we have somebody here that is leaving behind a very uh, unhealthy situation. And, and they're headed towards tender, loving care. Now, this, this person... Um, You know, this is like a soulmate or a partnership, a unity, very compatible, a very compatible union with the two of cups where there's mutual respect, but the eight of cups reversed is, it could be even be an apology. Somebody could be apologizing to this person. I mean, this person is the goddess of love. She's the queen of all queens, right? So this queen of all queens may be getting an apology from somebody that left in the past or, you know, maybe somebody was ignoring her or something. I mean, the devil is a card of ego. So ego can cause a person to uh, hide their true feelings, hide their true feelings, ego. So somebody and somebody may have been hiding their own their true feelings, but now they're headed. Now they're headed towards this queen. Okay, she's beautiful. She is the giver of life. She is glowing, and she has multiple options. The empress has multiple options because she's not easy. Okay, she's not easy. She knows her value. She has life. She has life experience. She's been through pain.
and she delivers. She delivers. So somebody is headed towards this queen, okay? They may be giving her an apology or, or something like that. What is this Eight of Cups reversed? Eight of Wands reversed. There's been a lack of communication. Somebody's been blocked. They haven't been able to communicate. They've been refusing to communicate. Or they were jealous. Or they were blocked. They may have been blocked. Justice. Karma. Justice. Making a decision. Doing the right thing. Somebody is making a decision to bring balance, to do the right thing. They are making a choice to communicate. They've been watching. Somebody is interested, very curious. They're very curious. But they haven't been speaking up. They haven't been speaking up. They haven't been making any moves. But karma, this could be karma has been watching because this is our observation and this is karma. Karma has been watching. And they may have blocked somebody's something. Now, the page, the page of Swords is a message that you don't want to hear. Somebody may have heard a message that they don't want to hear. That has made them feel conflicted. And now, you know, they got to make some sort of decision. Now, this is pretending to be happy, the Eight of Cups. Somebody may have been pretending this is shallow. Somebody was very shallow. The hangman. <laughs> the hangman reversed. Refusing to go in and, and change perception. Right? Obsessed with control. Somebody that has not been learning their lesson. And they have been hiding something for sure. Now we have egotism. Egotism here and egotism here. So somebody has definitely been letting their ego get in the way of a partnership. Somebody's been letting their ego get in the way. And I think now, I mean, now... They're, 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 there's a message that has been received. There's a message that ha it's already come. The mes message has been, somebody has delivered a message. And now we have somebody that is uh, struggling. Really, really, really struggling. And they're missing an opportunity. They have missed, interesting, they have missed an opportunity with somebody. Now, there's unrequited love here. It's like there's it's too late. There's no love. There's no the page of cups reversed and the knight of cups reversed. That's somebody's bubble being burst. Okay? Shattered dreams. A rejection. Somebody's being rejected. But this, this queen up here, this empress right here, she's getting, this empress is looking at a new relationship. She is with somebody that she is com very compatible with. But we have this person that is struggling. They're struggling over deciding the decision as to whether they want the partnership or not. So we have somebody here that is struggling whether they, I mean, she is beautiful. And she is a giver of life. And she is, does deliver. And she is the queen of all queens. So this person is struggling with making a decision, making the right decision because of their shallowness. We definitely have ego here. Somebody is very shallow. They pretend to be somebody that they are not. That's why we have the Knight of Cups reversed. So they pretend to be somebody that they are not. Now they now we got somebody that is headed towards this queen, this partnership. Now we got this person that is very is struggling. Ooh, the ten of this is very similar to the reading I just did. Ten of Swords reverse. This is you made your bed. I mean you made your bed. Now you're gonna have to lie in it. You gotta lay in this bed now. And it hurts. 
It hurts. We have somebody here that's, that's suffering. They are. And if they are suffering, they're probably going to be. Um... Now this is this could be you may not this is this could be like a near death experience and and the and the devil reverse could be things getting worse. I mean the devil reverse could be actually worse. It could be suffering, it could be despair. It could be um a deep dark place where, you know, there's a lack of survival. Somebody may not survive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you know, I'm I'm just being honest with you. And there's some sort of addictions here as well. There is definitely some sort of addictions here that, you know, are causing problems. Somebody is, is headed in a new direction. They're headed towards this, this person right here. It's harvest time. Anyway, you see the harvest, it's time. It is definitely time. It's time for a delivery. It's time for a new life. It's time for a birth. Okay, she gives birth. It is, they, we have a birth here. This is the birth of something new. It's the birth of a new partnership after uh, something somebody has been suffering and they have been suffering really good not good but there's been some serious suffering here somebody's been hiding behind addictions by the looks of things but i think there's a bubble burst there yeah, but that would be this page and night reversed tears there could be some tears that are shed Somebody is going to receive a message. It's going to be the truth. The message that they hear is the truth. It's, yes, it's the truth. What you hear is the truth. <sighs> Somebody is going to get enlightened the hard way. King of Cups, by the looks of things. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, it doesn't have to be. Um, this could be anybody taking on this energy. This king. Is very emotional, very feeling. His heart is something to do with his heart. His, he's going to be feeling it in his heart. He is. He is definitely going to be feeling it in his heart. He's going to be feeling something. Happiness. Extreme happiness. Love. Heart. Soul. Heart and soul. Soul. So something about love, we got some sort of, of seeing the light as well. And this is enlightenment. So we got this king that is going, it's, <laughs> I just saw the Grinch, you know, how his heart grew 10 times that day or whatever the hell it was, you know, so it just feels like we have somebody's heart is, is there's going to be some sort of feelings. It is. Somebody has been struggling to express their feelings. They, they have. They've been struggling, but so they're going to hear something or something like that, or that makes them express their feelings or something like that. Now, this is a birth as well, a renewal. And it is mirroring something about a child as well. If you just see, we got the mother and the child right here. We have some karma though, because this is karma. Somebody is making a fair and just decision based on the truth, based on some facts. Some facts are being delivered. They've or they've already been delivered. You can't pretend. There's no pretending. It's a fact. 
somebody, and this could be any sign. The, the King of Cups, this is just an energy. This is a, I'd say that it is a masculine that sees an opportunity, a big, bright opportunity for happiness. Because this is a big, bright opportunity for happiness. This is a blessing. And the Empress gives birth to a blessing. She does. So I feel as though we have somebody that is, is going to be, be blessed. Now the sun is also a card of freedom and being accepted. So we have a life changing energy. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. We have the birth of something new that is going to make somebody very happy. It does have to do with a union, a partnership. We have somebody that is headed towards this individual. After being in a loveless situation. And this empress is going to make them very happy. It's mirroring, you see. This guy sees it. He sees it. This is karma. Karma is bringing this genuine, caring, kind man that acts with integrity a happy new beginning. Something's going to happen fast. It happens all of a sudden, too. It's just, it's happening fast, okay? This is a transformation. This is moving forward. This is leads to victory and success. Somebody's been hiding behind the mask, but I think they're about to take the reins and go in the direction that their heart wants. It's like, here they come. You notice it's in the clouds, too. Taking the high road. That's what I always like to say with the chariot. Somebody's taking the high road. <sighs> Nine of Wands reversed. This is weary. Somebody has grown weary, but they're still alive, right? Now they're getting in the they're getting in the hot seat and they're going someplace else. They're sick of being alone. So I think we have somebody here that is headed towards a union after being in a loveless situation. And I think it's going to happen very, very, very fast. I do. I think it's, it's happening fast. I think it is happening fast. We have somebody here that was getting curious. And he's like, you know, the curiosity killed the cat. And, and now it's like, whew, wow. Good luck.